Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. For today, we're backstage here at Busting Out. Taking over is taking over Busting Out. But we have here the All In pre-show at the same time. So I'm watching it as, or I guess having it in the background as we do the show. Hello everybody, as I'm getting ready for bed, I'm gonna really be reading The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. My ghost Facebook mark. And on top of it, with my script Tumblr. <laughs> yes, uh, very excited to keep reading. I'm gonna try to read a little bit before I actually go to bed because I have to work early tomorrow. I'm hoping to make some progress on the read because so far it's interesting and I want to be able to basically do a, a little review of all, of all the books in the series before I do my book review for Brothers Hawthorne. So yeah, really excited for this one. Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry, I really haven't vlogged. Um, today's one of those days that I woke up and I was feeling okay, but I'm guessing probably the dust from the clean I did over the weekend with the bookshelves on the books. Um, in the middle of like my work day, I was in not the middle, but like the beginning of it almost. Um, my asthma starting acting up, so I came home early from work. Uh, so I've been trying to relax and just drink a lot of water and just take it slow so why not <laughs> keep reading i'm still reading the inheritance games um uh, one thing i do like about it though the chapters are so short they're like four maybe five pages each which is something that i didn't expect it to but so far i'm in page going now to 37 and yeah so far it's been interesting i i like how it started i'm just curious to see what else is gonna happen at this point um and like what's and you know, the reasoning how it'll move forward um but yeah so far so good i'm just switching things in the background between listening to music or like i found little book playlists on spotify or watching bluetooth but i'm reading as well um but i'm been going slowly through it so that's being it i'm still a little stuffy i i, I keep sneezing them hopefully it'll get better um and then uh, to top it off I mean, I know it's not going to be that bad in here, but we have a hurricane heading towards Florida. Um, I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish I'll say Italia, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be here between Tuesday night, like Wednesday, I guess, during the day. I know it's going to be a lot of rain. So, uh, let's see what happens at work more than anything. Um, if not, it'll be another another really day for me. Uh, yeah, today was also an interesting day because I tweeted about... AEW and the women's match only had me like less than 10 minutes of the whole card and my Twitter has been blowing up all day There's notifications I still haven't seen But I like that I have a lot of girls uh, supporting me uh, in this and Even like my article from Body Slam has been blowing up even more now. It's almost at uh, 50k views at this point So it's incredible how it's been. I've gained so many followers, which I didn't think it was gonna happen but um yeah, it just like I like to advocate for women's wrestling and I feel like the women could be treated better in these shows and it's like I, I'm gonna speak up about it. I really don't mind. <laughs> if I have to be that person I will. Um but yeah, I just like overall I you know, I enjoy the pay per view. You know, but at the same time I would have liked another women's match or at least the match to last a little bit longer than what it was because this show started I think around noon with the pre show and it ended maybe at five six o'clock eastern time so that whole time and it was one woman's match in the whole card and it's what we're pre-show but yeah that's another story for a different day uh, i'm gonna keep reading a little bit more just now that i feel okay and hopefully it'll help me relax a little bit more um my i'm working on other parts of my room but at least my book shows look decent i love being able to read and look at them and just like where i really look from here but uh no i'm definitely gonna keep reading this one i'm enjoying it a lot and we'll see what happens with the next one. I know I, I downloaded the audiobook with Libro um, like I did before. Just to listen to it while I'm working or while I'm driving so I can get ahead of it in that sort of way. But yeah, I just didn't realize that it was so short. Um, but I like it so far though. So I'm enjoying it. Just uh, looking forward to whatever happens next in the book. To give an update, I had to get a Malta. Once I see this in the fridge, I have to get one of them at least. <laughs> There you go, watching Rara, waiting for Trish and Becky to happen in a little bit later on. And here I am. Almost at page 50. Oh my gosh. But yeah, again, the chapters are still very short between maybe five pages from what, I, pages from what I've seen.
Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Here we have a tropical storm that's coming up here, here, up here soon in Florida. But I got two packages so I figured I'll open up on camera and show you what they are because I don't think I know what they are. I think I know one of them maybe. We'll see. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, pretty soon you'll be able to hear the tropical storm that I have right behind me. But I figure in this thing now, I'll show you that the brick fail. First one, oh, I've been wanting to read this one. Rizos, uh, so curls. I uh, by Claribel Ortega. This one's just uh, the Spanish version, of course. But yeah, I've been wanting to read it, so that's the cover. I really like it. My natural hair is curly, so it's, I figured it's something that I could relate to. And then, let's see what the second book is. I can open it, perhaps. Scatter of Light by Melinda Lou. Oh, this one's from Penguin Teen, that's why. Here we go. Um, they asked me about getting the paperback for that one, so I said, why not? So these are two books that I got today, book mail. So, and I actually have three, I think, three books that I ordered from Amazon on top of it. So, any more to my collection that I just put up on my wall. <laughs> Nothing new there. As promised. I said I ordered some books from Amazon, so I heard of them. Show them off before they go to the shelf. There we go. Uh, these were, I think it was buy to get the third fifty percent off, something like that. Um, I just seen uh, a booktuber talking about them, and I, you know, they described it as more like like a Criminal Minds type of book, and I love Criminal Minds, so I figured why not. And I love her writing stuff for an inheritance game, so I figured I would go and do this. Uh, this is Killer Instinct um, by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And then we have All In. And then we have The Naturals. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this, and this irritates me sometimes with Amazon, it's like, they're not in great condition though. It's like, look, it's like all bent here. And that just disappoints me. You're just. I know that these the books are usually like in a warehouse waiting for, to be purchased, but like, really? Oh gosh! And I like I returned books for that reason before as well because it just this doesn't look great. Like it makes me like upset. <laughs> this is definitely not what I wanted it to be like. I know at least the rest of the book looks fine inside, but I like unless it's my fault. I want my books to be like in good condition. To me, this. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a book reader thing or if it's a me thing. I don't know, but either way. Um, I love how these look, the spines together. I know I'm missing the fourth one, uh, Bad Blood. But I figured I'll start with these three. And, you know, I probably have an early day uh, from work tomorrow, so I'll probably get some reading done. So, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just like, I like how they look together. So we have, yeah, it's in this order. I was kind of messed up. So we got... Starts with the naturals and then killer instinct and all in so one two and three I do like one thing I do like about books is when they put the book number in the spine Because when I display them, I was like I don't want to have to go to Goodreads and double check the order <laughs> You know, I like having them in the order. So yeah, this looks great. I love how that looks in that aspect on the spine um, Yeah, overall I you know, I like how they look I just that just disappoints me though So I'm like and then not only that but like at least some of it is also like bent at the top here i don't know if you can see it but yeah i might read them just not really do anything to it like mark them up or anything like that because that way i can just return them after the storm happens because i'm that kind of person i'm sorry i was like if i'm buying my books they better be in good condition at least well condition like i don't know how to do this i i've had some that like have had. I forgot where I bought it from. I don't think it was Amazon, but it, the cover itself was bent. It just irritated me so much. Like, why would you like? And I don't know if it's that the book was like that, or because they sent it and it was thrown in transit. But still, it just it's not a thing that I like. But uh, yeah, no, anyway, um, I think with the audiobook, I'm almost 100 pages into Heritage Games, which I'm really, really happy about. It just flies through like so much and so easy and. Because the chapters are so short, which is something I'm not used to. I think I got a, a little used to that from you're not supposed to die tonight because most of the chapters are very short. But these are short, they're like four, maybe five pages. I'm like, I like this. I feel like I've read more than what I did. Um, 
I think it'll be cool if I finish it tomorrow. Uh, I figure with an early day from work. I can get a couple of things done. Um, in the process of doing the little projects in my room. But I kind of want to take a day to like chill. So, we'll see. There you go. Backstage at taking over. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I've been vlogging now in the evening at this point. Uh, but I didn't have a lot really to vlog today or anything interesting, but I figured I would show a little package. Now. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, vlogging really late today because there was nothing eventful really to vlog. Uh, just a lot of cleaning as I'm planning or we're planning ahead of time because we are celebrating my dad's birthday tomorrow. But I got a couple books through Amazon that I figured I wanted to show on camera because so I haven't opened the package even though I had it way, way earlier in the day today. Um, but I feel like I've been really inspired to keep reading, not only because of the vlogs now, but because I'm watching a lot of people like on YouTube now. That's been my thing in the last couple of days, like when I wake up and through the day I'm watching people talking about books. So that's inspired me to get a couple of books. Oh, first time they use the Bible and they use actual paper. Okay, so first one, this one is one of the group reads from my book club this month. It's called uh, Technically Text Appeal, and this is by Amber Roberts. Um, I really like the cover here. I can relate to the phone and the computer and the headphones. Yeah, so it's a vibe. I, I like the colors here in this particular book. And to do, it says, Stem gets steamy when a coder takes up sexing to pay the bills in this darling debut novel. Uh, perfect for the fence of Olivia Day and Kate Stame in London. Ooh, so that's interesting. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Uh, next one, this is also for the book club. I was not expecting it to be this thick. Holy moly. Uh, the Sun and the Boy by Gabriela Ro Romero, de Romero La Cruz. So this one is it. I adore this cover so much. I was not expecting it to be this thick though. Like, holy moly. For real. Um, again, I don't know what's with Amazon. And, like, I know this, the edges are different, but still they're so bent. It just... Yeah, I can kind of tell a little bit there, but it's still... She's thick. Very thick. <laughs> um, next one, these were inspired by Haley from... Uh, it's Haley Fam? I don't know how to say Haley Fam, I'm sorry. But it's uh, Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. She has been talking about this book and like Lynn Painter as an author. I hadn't tried any of Lynn Painter's books yet, so that's made me want to do it. Uh, I think there's another one I really want to get, hopefully soon. And then the second one is The Do-Over. So these are both Lynn Painter's books. I love the covers too. I'm a bit in a mood for romance books, so this is definitely up my alley. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read these. It's just basically taking a recommendation for her, so yeah, I'm uh, really excited to to read this pretty soon. Um, yeah, I feel like I want to read something like romancy now in September because October I want to get towards like thrillers and things like that, and then obviously for December, November maybe get into holiday reads. That, that's what I want to highlight more than anything. So really excited. Here we go. I got four books today, and. Yeah, I decided to get a couple books. I haven't gotten books in, I feel like, quite a bit, at least. But I'm really excited for these. So, yeah. Um, I am, <laughs> more than anything, almost halfway at the Harrington's Games. It's just, I don't know if because I was tired yesterday. I started reading after work, and I hadn't had a nap or anything. So, I've been away since, like, 6.30 in the morning. And it was close to, like, 10, 11 p.m., and I tried reading it, and it just, it was not hitting it for me. So it hit like a slow point. Again, the chapters are still very short, just I like, what I'm liking a lot. Um, today as I was cleaning out, I listened to the audiobook there as well too. Make some progress on it, but yeah, almost halfway. I'm just, I'm waiting for something else to happen so I can be like, oh, they got a new clue, and like, keep me intrigued for a little bit. So I'm just waiting for that to happen at this point. But so far, it's been okay. I, don't, I would say more leading towards great, but I'm enjoying it, and it, I'm definitely motivated to read the next books. Um, if you haven't yet, though, 
I'm going to link the post that I have uh, about this, which is Brothers Hawthorne. I posted about it today for a book tour. I would appreciate any support on that post. Oh, and I forgot to mention it on camera, but I got a really exciting email yesterday from Nick Galley about a spotlight, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, it looks like they're spotlighting me for Hispanic Heritage Month sometime between the month. I don't know when. Um, I know they did it, I think about two, maybe three years ago, but they didn't tell me about it, which is... I noticed it because I was in a group chat with other people who were also uh, spotlighted in the same on the same post. But this time they reached out to me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" It just it made me want to cry because I never thought that would happen. Like this year, I got highlighted. I think it was this year by Buzzfeed Books or something that I had on my bookish goals list. And then now I get Nat Kelly to like reach out to me to feature me um, like this. It's just yeah, something I didn't expect at all. Um, Tomorrow I do have my dad's birthday and we we'll definitely have a lot of cleaning to do before we come here So I don't know how much reading I'll be able to do So I'm hoping to read a little bit before I go to bed because tomorrow is gonna be a busy day um, I don't know if I'll be able to vlog anything from it if I do uh, I'll try but I don't know if I'll be because there's so many people around it's gonna be kind of awkward having a camera around with them um, But at least I know I have a long weekend so it makes me maybe between tonight or something this weekend I will have time to sit and actually think of books I want to read for September which I want to lean towards more like a romance kind of book but um yeah that's it for now that's my latest update on the inheritance games uh maybe I'll check in a little bit later once I have or ha once I've read a little bit more and I actually have an update hello everybody welcome back to the vlog sorry it's not great lightly or anything I just said I have a new camera while I do this um it's a little unboxing I just got a book from Macmillan the book is called The Fury is by Alex Michael I don't want to say that one, but ew, it has something inside of it. I always missed if it wasn't because the book was opening right there. Uh, it's an envelope. I have been keeping notebooks for some years now and I wouldn't call them diaries. But they're not as structured as that, just a record of my thoughts, ideas, dreams, snatches of conversations I've heard, my observations of those around me. I find that writing it on my it down may come in useful later on. You seem to have found one of these notebooks of mine. I know I really shouldn't have left a light around. But now that you, better, yeah, that you have it, maybe it will help you better understand what you hear and read about me and my lovely friends. There are always two sides to every story. It was fierce that night, the night of the murder. It was ferocious, furious, crashing through trees, tearing along pathways, whistling, wailing, snatching all other sound and racing off with it. Leo was outside when he heard the gunshots. He was on his hands and knees at the back of the house, being sick in the vegetable garden. Just then, the wind sped towards him, hurling the sound straight at him. Bang, bang, bang. Leo pulled himself up. As steadily as he could, he battled his way against the gale in the direction of the gunfire, away from the house. I mean, I don't know how long it is, but there's like a ticket here, a restaurant kind of receipt. Uh, some things to pack and the chair area and it's like a little notebook like that that's really interesting though I like like that mystery behind it this, I'm like this is something unexpected but I like the mystery behind it and that part in itself too and it says LG and the front here is some initials I don't know if you can see those yeah really interesting so thank you big Miller, for sending over this copy of the fury plus I like this cover it's really intriguing there too 